everyone. So in this video, I'm going to apply the arc or the midpoint elasticity of demand formula to a problem. So let's first just uh, write down the expression. That's going to be the change in the quantity demanded divided by the change in the price multiplied by the midpoint of that price change divided by the midpoint of the quantity changed. This can also equivalently be written out as the change in quantity divided by the midpoint of that change, all divided by the change in price, divided by the midpoint of that price change. So either way is good. The important thing to note is that when we're using the arc or the midpoint elasticity formula, it's only going to be concerning situations where we have discrete changes in the variables. So that's if things are moving between two different points. So for instance, let's just say that for a particular product, we have the demand curve P is equal to 10 minus Q. And it's the case that the price in the market increases from $2 to $4. And then we're asked, around this price change, are we dealing with inelastic, elastic, or unit elastic uh, demand? Okay, good. So we can use either one of our formulations of the arc elasticity of demand formula. All we need to do is write down all the different components and then find them one by one. So we have change in Q, that's the change in quantity given the price change, the midpoint of that change in quantity, the change in price, and the midpoint of the change in price. So the change in price is really easy because we've been told that we know that the price increases from 2 to $4. So the change in price is positive 2. The midpoint of that price change is just going to be the middle number between, so we went from 2 to 4, so the middle of that is 3. Alternatively, we just take the average of the two numbers. So now we need the change in quantity and the midpoint of that quantity change. We get that from the demand curve that we've written here. So we need to evaluate what the demand is doing at each of the prices 2 and 4. So if we want to evaluate at price is equal to 2, then we substitute 2 into our demand formula. And we can see that when price is 2q, the quantity demanded is 8. We do the same thing for $4, and we see that once we substitute 4 into the demand equation, we get quantity 6. So this is telling us that when the price increased from 2 to 4, our quantity demanded decreased from 8 to 6. So the change in quantity then is negative 2. The midpoint, that's the middle point between 8 and 6, is 7. Alternatively, we just take the average, and we get 7. Okay, very good. So I'll just clear some room. And now I'm just going to substitute all of the different components into the elasticity of demand formula. And I'm just going to use the first way of expressing the formula here. You can do it in the second way if you like, it's exactly the same. So change in Q we saw was negative 2, divided by change in P was 2, multiplied by the midpoint of the price change was 3, and the midpoint of the quantity change was 7. Negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1, and we can leave the fraction as is, so the elasticity is negative 3 over 7. Now given the absolute value of this figure is less than 1, or alternatively that the value is less than 0 but greater than negative 1, this is inelastic. Okay, so that's it for this application of the midpoint elasticity formula for the elasticity of demand. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys are having a great day.